A lorry of mass 1850 kilograms, so let's write that on there. I think we'll make our diagram as we read it through. Is towing a van of mass 750 kilograms. Along a straight horizontal road, the van and lorry are joined by a light, light, inextensible, taut tow rope, which is angled at 16 degrees to the road. The lorry and the van experience constant resistances to motion, and it's one figure for all of the total resistances for the lorry, and one figure for all the total resistances to the car. So let's just say resistance there. and resistance there to the lorry. The lorry's engine produces a constant horizontal force magnitude 1600 so the engine on this lorry trundling away and produces that much pull that's the total force and it's constant. So here we have all of our information. Find the acceleration of the lorry and the van. So force equals mass times acceleration. Every time you use this, write it down. Don't think to yourself, oh the examiner can see what I'm doing. If you use this, write it down. Now in this particular case we're talking about the resultant force. So you could resultant force. You could write it like that. Because we're talking lorry pulling itself and car with that force, which I would call the pull, minus the total resistance. That is the resultant force. Again, I would write all this down for the examiner. So, the total resistance is that resistance and that resistance added together. The mass, well we're talking about the mass of the whole unit. The unit comprising of the lorry and the van. So we've got to think of the mass as being the van and the lorry added together. Okay, uh, this works out. If you add those two together, you get 2600. If you work that out and divide by 2600, you get this nice, neat answer. Part A done. So let's have three marks for that, I think. Method mark could be just for some writing to explain what you're doing. Method and accuracy mark for filling in the appropriate figures and then an accuracy mark for ending up with the right answer. So repeating the diagram but including the information we've just got. Find the tension in the tow rope. Now the tension in the tow rope is pulling this way and this way, depends on what you're considering. If we're considering the on the car then it's pulling this way. If we're considering what's putting back on the lorry, it's putting that way. Okay, now. So, in fact, we could do this two ways. We could do this by considering the van. Or we could do it by considering the lorry. In the exam, you wouldn't do it both of these two ways. You'd do one or the other, unless it's easy to do and doesn't take too long, then you could do the second way as a check. So let's look at considering the van. Considering the van, this is the tension we are thinking about. So again, we've got force equals mass times acceleration. Tell the examiner what you're thinking. Where we're talking about resultant force. And the resultant force is the pull of this tow rope minus the resistance Total resistance here. Mass times acceleration, there's our mass. And our acceleration we worked out from the previous part. 
let's look more closely at this pool. This is being pulled at an angle of 16 degrees, so we really need to know how much of that is horizontal. So if we consider this right angle triangle, if we consider this as the angle of 16 degrees, relative to that angle, this is the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. In other words, A over H is cosine. So T cosine 16 is in fact the amount of tension that is the vertical, said it wrong, the tension which is the horizontal component. So that's the horizontal component of the tension. That's got it, horizontal component of the tension. That's what's trying to pull the car along. And this is what's resisting the motion. So there we have it. Um, I haven't worked that out. I'll just leave it like that. Do that on a calculator. Right. So if we add that to both sides and divide by that, so we'll have this plus that divided by that. Press loads of buttons on the calculator and get this answer. Wouldn't write it all down necessarily in the exam, just write down a sensible answer. But I've written it all down now so we can check this other method. Let's look at this other method. Let's consider the lorry. Again we're talking force equals mass times acceleration. And the force that's pulling it along is this 1600 newtons. But from that we've got to subtract the resistance. Now what's resisting the motion? Well, in fact, what's resisting the motion is two things. The resistance that we were told that the lorry itself has, that's resisting the motion. And the tension in the tow bar pulling that way or at least the horizontal component of it, which is exactly the same as this. So, our force is pull minus total resistance, let's write it like that, equals mass times acceleration. We've got how much it's being pulled by, minus the resistance we're told is the total resistance to motion of the lorry minus the pull back on the tow rope and that equals mass we're talking mass of lorry here times acceleration which is 0.25 now that's 900 We'll subtract that from this side and get this, whatever that works out to be. Add that to the other side and get that. So therefore T itself is that minus that divided by that and thankfully it comes to be exactly the same answer as I got just now. Now the examiner won't mind which way you do it. More than one method of doing so many questions. Make your method clear and you'll get your marks. There's three marks here, so I think we'll have a method mark for explaining what on earth we're doing. A method accuracy mark for putting in the figures in the right places. And then a final accuracy mark for actually getting the thing right. So that's the end of part B. You need to visit www.mathstutor.biz if you want to see the rest of this question 7 and the rest of the paper because this is paper 4 from mechanics set 2 the paper is here if you go to www.masstutor.biz you'll have the opportunity of buying this set of three papers along with the three DVDs that go with the three papers which will have the full solutions and the full marking for all the papers so I've just shown you a part of question 7 that is question 7, and it's got a part C and D to go. www.masstutor.biz to have the opportunity of getting your own set. Hope to hear from you.